We put Tiff in Lamborghini's punchy Gallardo and motorbike journo Kevin Smith on Ducati's latest 999. Now, although the Gallardo comes with a V10 that develops 500 brake horsepower and will hit 60 in four seconds, the Ducati boasts even better headline figures. At 12 grand, it's 10 times less expensive than the Lambo, and because it has twice the power to weight ratio, it's a second quicker to 60. But let's not forget that Kevin has only two wheels to corner and brake with, whereas Tiff has four fat ones. Now, the first cars I drove seemed a bit understeery, but this guy on is a bit frisky, especially on cold tyres. Once they warm up a bit, it seems to be safer, but at first I've been having a lot of fun with this Gallardo. Over the top, flick it right, oh, give it some. The only problem with this Lambo, as I found out when I first drove it, is the gears are very tall, so you only use three gears and you need first gear for the hairpin. Really good brakes there. Right, enough of the showing off, time to set a quick lap. Neat and tidy through turn one. A little drift through Abbott's. Flash of opposite lock through the radar complex. Neat and tidy round the hairpin. Through Douglas Mount View and on to set a lap time of 49.69 seconds. Beat that, biker. Kevin certainly good at the showboating, but as you can see, it's exceptionally hard to keep the 999's nose down under heavy acceleration. And when going into tighter bends, Kevin has to brake much harder than me. But once out on the straight, his acceleration is truly awesome. When it comes to heavy braking, he can even get the back out. Good boy. Time for the deciding lap. Incredibly, by the radar complex, the bike is 0.18 of a second ahead. But under heavy braking for the hairpin, the gap's dropped to 0.16. Now, there's just the high speed left, right, left of Douglas Mountview to come, and the Ducati catapults out of it to defeat the Lamborghini by 0.44 of a second. <laughs> 